Wait, Ed, the stock market closed at a record high yesterday. How did it open budget day? Budget day, the stock market is open down a little bit. It's down about half a percent in early trade, but it did close at a record high yesterday. It was the, it's the highest point ever that it's ever closed. The previous record was set on the 20th of February last year. Yesterday, the stock market broke through that barrier. So it basically erased all of the losses that were incurred in 2020 due to the COVID recession. But overnight, the, our stock market's fallen because of Wall Street. The Nasdaq, that's the tech index over there, it fell 3%. Investors there are selling shares in some of America's largest tech companies. Tesla was down 6%, Apple 2.5%, Microsoft down 2%. So our tech sector is the weak performer today. I'd be watching the likes of Afterpay and Zip today, two of the big buy now, pay later companies. They've been falling over the last couple of weeks. I'd expect them to fall a bit more today. So our market has fallen, but it's still pretty close to that record high. And I think it's within striking distance over the next week or so. Forget the tech stocks. Let's look at iron ore. The price has hit a new record high. Now at 230 US dollars a tonne. It's unbelievable. Just a <laughs> month ago, iron ore was 170 US a tonne. Now it's about 230 US a tonne. It's gone up 35% in just four weeks. Obviously, great news for Australia's iron ore companies. They're Rio Tinto and BHP, their share prices are currently at record highs. And the market's down today, but they could go up today along with the likes of Fortescue Metals and Australia's other big iron ore producers. And it's all because of China, Chinese steel mills. They can, they, their demand for their steel is so high, they can afford to pay 230 US a tonne mm. for iron ore. And Australia provides about 50% of China's iron ore demand. And it's going to continue for a long time. Commonwealth banks today say they believe demand will remain ele elevated for, for quite a while and the prices are going to stay elevated as well. Well, once upon a time, I think even the last budget predicted in the Treasury estimates that iron ore would be at 60 US dollars a tonne. So not only good for iron ore producers, but the Treasurer today as well, Ed. Well, that's right. They, they predicted it would fall to about that level by September this year. And that's obviously not going to happen at all. Commonwealth Bank did some analysis a few months ago and they said it would be an additional $2 billion in government revenue in this specific budget. But with the iron ore price so much higher now than it was just two months ago, I think it's safe to say that that figure will be higher. So the budget's going to be more than $2 billion better off for just this year alone. Oh, indeed. Ed, thanks so much.